the guy who you're eventually going to marry, how much money would you like him to be earning, say, when he turns? I mean, we, I, we have a variety of ages here in this group, but say when he's 30, 35, 40, in that age range, how much would you like your future partner husband to be making? 50K, 75K, 100K, more? Here, we'll go around the table okay, really quick. Wait. Your uh, your future partner, how much do you think he's gonna be earning? Go ahead. So, honest, Or do you want him to earn? Honestly, I don't necessarily care. Um, like, honestly, I don't really care. Obviously, I don't want- Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Let's be honest. So Otherwise, date, everyone's no. going to say that. You did a KFC <laughs> guy? Come on. No, okay. Well, I was saying that I wouldn't necessarily date that. I just want someone that has drive in their life and that is able to kind of let me be able to travel with them. Like, we can travel together and, like, you can with what? spoil with what me money? in a sense. With the money. Like, with what money? What if he's poor? <laughs> like, you said you want to travel money. with him? That's going to take money. Okay, it's going to take money. Like, a certain, like number. I just want, I want someone that has like drive and they are, I don't have like a certain number, honestly. Like I wouldn't, someone, someone could come to me and they would be like, oh, I only make like 40K a year or something. And like, that's pretty I low. I, that is pretty, pretty low. low. It is pretty low. Well, yes, it's, but. it's, I think it's actually, I think 45K is the average, uh, the median median average right. salary for for men in the U.S. That's not but holidays. It's low. No. It's low in the. I'm not trying to shit on anybody in the chat that makes that much or less, but living in California, That's if you want to live in like a major city, you're probably gonna have to, you know, if you want a certain lifestyle, if you want to travel, mm. for example, go on vacations, if you want to, you know, afford a certain size house that has bedrooms. For, do you want kids? Maybe um, you don't want kids, so maybe I'm it's not. I'm not sure, as... honestly. I haven't met a person, like, I'm open to it, but I haven't yeah. met a person that I would, I could see, like, a life with. Like, sure. I want to meet someone that I'm like, oh, my God, I want to yeah. I want but, to have your babies. Yeah. But Jeez. it would break down like this. <laughs> you know, you have to look, okay, well, what city do I want to live in? The right. square footage of the house, how many bedrooms do you want? How many bathrooms? How many cars do you want to have? Yeah. Do you want the kids to have their own separate bedrooms? Mm -hmm. Do you want to travel two or three times a year? Um... You know, do, there, there's a bunch of other factors that you have to, you know, and then, and then what kind of house do you want? Do you want kind of like a mid-tier, low-tier, or like maybe a bit more luxury? The cars you have, do you want one car, two cars? Do you want mid-tier cars? Do you want luxury cars and uh, international travel versus domestic? You know, right. so all these are a factor. So we can say that money doesn't matter, but if you do want to, for example, have kids, you know, your partner's income mm -hmm. is going to be, is gonna have to be a factor in, you know, a deciding factor in your partner. Correct, but I'm, I'm more so attracted to like, not even like a number, like I am more attracted to someone that has the drive in their life to like want to make that money. Like if they are making 40K, but they have like business ideas that I do see what you're saying, motion, because you know what I mean? women yeah. do tend to invest in men. They'll yes. like, they'll see someone with potential and they'll see yeah. a potential winner and they'll invest. my mom is hilarious like that. She was, she's single at like 50 and she saw a guy, he earned good money, not so, not so attractive in terms of what he had going on. She took him, she goes, grow out the facial hair, we'll get you a new wardrobe, yeah. this, that. And now he walks around like an absolute don. Yeah, and she's invested in that guy smart. and now mm -hmm. took him from like a five to a nine. No, yeah. And that's how my parents were. Like my mom, my dad wasn't making like a ton of money, but then they started dating and she saw that he had this drive and He's like doing very well for himself. He's doing amazing. Mm. And that's like something that I would want, like honestly in life, to be able to grow with someone. I, and, yeah. I think some women move like that, but there's also, I think just as many women, I disagree with you a bit slightly here, mm. in that I think a lot of women wait at the finish line. And fuck the winners. And fuck the winners. Yep. So I think when, I don't think you're wrong for saying, and there's definitely a lot of women who do care about ambition, but I think my view on it is women are not so concerned with a man's ambition as they are concerned with has he reaped the benefits yes. of said ambition because a, an ambitious guy who there's a lot of like really ambitious guys that want to fucking be SoundCloud rappers and shit yeah. that work at fast food restaurants. Maybe one day they'll, they'll be successful. But I think women are much more tuned to actually picking the men who have already reaped the benefits of said ambition. And it's an age thing as well. Like if you're 21 and you see a guy who's like studying a whatever, but he's broke and you know that he's going to be rich one day, then that's a good horse to bet on. Yeah. But if he's 40 
and he's not earning any money, but he's yeah, got ambition. Yeah. Sorry, mate. Yeah, not and happening. a lot of people who have ambition don't make it. Like not everybody is gonna make it. You it's know? for yeah. sure about I would say like how is the is that matching up to like the work they're putting in like mm -hmm. realistic every day like type of thing. Maybe. Word. People you know, have to be realistic. Oh, at, no, you're fine. Uh, people have to be realistic at some point. You can have all the ambition in the world, but not everyone can make it, unfortunately. Not everybody yeah, is going a, to be a rock star. Yeah, eighty twenty rule. 